today we're going today we're going to learn the last new construction okay after today you actually have all the skills that you really need and everything else just kind of piles all together to make new interesting more interesting things okay so today we're going to learn how to construct parallel lines so i'm going to give you the background behind it and then we're going to do it okay so here's what it's going to be based on remember when we had parallel lines and transversals we talked about how angles 1 and 2 are corresponding angles, and we talked about how angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with one of those angles. For instance, angle 2. We're going to copy angle 2 up here to create angle 1, and if these two angles are congruent, that means my lines then have to be parallel. So before we do that, let's review how to copy an angle, because this is the biggest problem. So if I have an angle, here's my angle, I want to copy it. So I'm going to start with a start array. I'm going to put my point on my vertex. I can set my compass to anything I want. Put my point on my vertex, swing an arc across that angle. I want to do it again here. Swing an arc across that angle. Okay. Now I need to measure from point of intersection to point of intersection. Okay, and I'm going to duplicate that here. And there's my copied angle. Okay, so that's the idea we're going to use. So I'm going to start with a line. I'm going to put a point not on the line. Okay, so I want to create a line that is parallel to my original that passes through this point. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a transversal. A transversal that goes through that point. This is the angle that I'm going to copy up here. So here's my angle. I already have my starter ray. So I'm going to make an arc across my angle, my original angle. So put my point on my vertex, draw the arc. Now I'm going to go up here to this point. This is my new vertex. I'm going to draw that arc again. Okay. Now normally that got really close. Normally I wouldn't have them that close just because it gets it's a little confusing sometimes. So now I'm going to measure from point of intersection to point of intersection. I think we're about there. And I'm going to put my point on my point of intersection up here. Swing my arc. Okay, where those arcs intersect, I need to line that up with my vertex, or my point that was not on the line, the vertex of that angle. It should create two parallel lines. Now, might be my, it looks a little warped to me, but um, this is honestly one of the more difficult constructions to do in order to, to actually make it accurate, because any little bit that you're wrong any little bit at all, then your lines don't end up being parallel. This is one of those where you have to be very meticulous and be very precise in your constructions. So again, it's really just copying angle one up here at angle two. If you go online and look for instructions, there's a couple of different ways to make parallel lines. I don't care which way you end up doing it, just know that this is the way um, your book approaches copying or making parallel. Okay, so your homework is on page 162, 2 through 5, and 11. 2 through 5 are constructions. 11 is one of those big angle puzzles. Okay, 11 is one of the big ones. Um, honestly, very lightly with pencil mark in your book to label your angles write down your answers and then erase your pencil markings in your book please that's probably the easiest way to do it unless you want to copy the whole diagram over